What's up everybody, this is Always back with another video. So in this video I'm gonna be answering a question about AutoCAD versus Revit. So one of you guys asked me a question that what is the difference between AutoCAD and Revit and which software is the best for architecture designing such as making 2D plans, a 3D model of the house, so which is the best software for architectural stuff. I'm gonna be answering that and I'm gonna be covering the difference between AutoCAD and Revit and which one you should use for architectural designing. So we'll be covering all of these questions. So before we start, I wanna say if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and if you like the video, smash that like button. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's talk about AutoCAD first. So AutoCAD is a desktop based application. It was developed in 1982 by Autodesk, but now AutoCAD is available on the web as well. And you can download AutoCAD 360 on your Android and iPhone as well. So in terms of availability, AutoCAD is a winner. AutoCAD is a widely used commercial software in 2D and 3D modeling in everywhere. So if you talk about AutoCAD and Revit, Revit is mainly for BIM or architectural or used in structure. So it is mainly for architectural stuff. But AutoCAD is not bound to architectural stuff. AutoCAD is available for architectural stuff, uh, people use in mechanical, electrical, and it's been used in many more industries. So AutoCAD is much more robust, much more advanced for 2D and 3D modeling as well. You can even develop anything you can imagine in a 3D model. So usability of these two software is basically AutoCAD is a manual. So if you wanna create a house plan, you need to start with a line. So you create a line and you create two lines to make a wall and then you make a door it doesn't matter how you represent the door it's all up to you because you're gonna create a line to represent a door of a window all manual so autocad is is really good but it's all manual it could take a lot of time so when you talk about a revit a revit is pretty much automatic so let's say in autocad you make a 2d plan and it's only a 2d plan it won't be won't be a 3d model so if you want to develop a 3d model you have to separately create a 3d model if you want to create an elevation in autocad 2d plan is not going to create your elevation but if you talk about revit revit is uh, is all automatic so if you make a 2d plan of a house 3d model elevations will be done automatically and those objects such as let's say it's a wall right so when you create a wall in revit uh, basically what is it that you can create a wall with the real object so you can create a wall a concrete a metal wall a brick wall or whatever the objects you want to put in the wall and then while you're using those real objects to create a wall you can calculate the structural cost and much more. So in terms of functionality, I would say AutoCAD is a complete winner. I'm gonna give you my advice to get a job, right? So let's say you're finishing architectural degree and you wanna get a job in AutoCAD or Revit. So it depends on where you're from. So if you are living in Pakistan or India, I think that people still use AutoCAD. AutoCAD has more demands compared to Revit, but if you live in Western world, then Revit is mainly used for architectural stuff. So it depends that where you're from, you need to check out what are the job requirements and what is mostly used in um, in the industry. If you talk about what is better for architectural stuff, I would highly recommend use Revit because that, let's say I build a house plan, right? And it takes me one hour to make that in AutoCAD. I can actually complete that plan in Revit in 10 minutes. So there's like 50 minutes a difference. There are a few more benefits of using Revit for architectural. Let's say you develop a 2D plan and there's few things that you could do that it will be your expenses, your cost of that building will be done. Your structure will be done automatically. There's so many options in Revit regarding to architectural. Obviously you can do all those things in AutoCAD but in AutoCAD, you need to know every single thing because it's all manual and it's a lot better, a lot better for architecture because you can develop a lot of things in less time. Sometimes, let's say you need to develop something that you can't do in Revit, such as engineering objects, such as if I want to develop this microphone, I can't do that in Revit. 
I would be able to do that, but it's going to take me a lot more time. So I want to develop that in AutoCAD. That would be a lot better because it's kind of engineering, right? Revit, if you talk about Windows door, that's going to be easy because uh, these are the things are automatically done in Revit. One more thing I want to mention here that for the job, so if your industry required AutoCAD, then you can't do that. You can't really do anything because you, to get a job, you need to learn AutoCAD anyway. But what I would recommend that, let's say if someone give you a job, someone give you a house plan to create, why can't you just do that in Revit and then export that in AutoCAD and give them in AutoCAD file, DWG, right? So that's gonna save you a lot of time. So I would highly recommend if you wanna know AutoCAD, learn AutoCAD, but learn Revit as well because you could do the work personally on your computer with Revit and you can export that into AutoCAD. So it's gonna save you a lot of time. So these are my advices for you guys. All right, so I try to give my best answer to you. And if you still have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And any one of you have questions about Revit and AutoCAD, let me know in the comments below. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Chase.